Uh, like it was just like if Jordan was in here right now, if he was actually engaging and talking with you, and then y'all go out there and play ball, it's like, man, I'm shooting ball with Jordan. It ain't like, man, it's Jordan. Now yeah. you'd be like, man, I didn't shot ball with Jordan yeah, because now you got comfortable. So when I was with Cedric, it was a little different because I woke up with him every day. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Not knowing that man, this man was a world renowned, worldwide, you know, boxer, bro. That was amazing. You having a church background, yeah. I've had people on this couch, I've heard people sit down and say like, man, uh, nah, there ain't no God there. Ain't no, <laughs> ain't no Jesus there. Whatever you're praying uh, for to happen, yeah. it, you won't yeah. see it. Uh, yeah, in the yeah. time that, you know, uh, I, when I, you hear when you hear someone saying like that, you know, again, I don't know the things they've seen, but right. do you, is that something that you can see someone saying, um, yeah, whatever you came in with, yeah, uh, whatever you think is supposed to happen, it's probably going to go another way. Okay, I follow that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I follow that for sure. Because every day, every minute, every moment is changing. Mm. The partner that, you know what I'm saying, that's, you know, the cell right beside you can flip on you. You know what I'm talking about? But God is definitely there, bro. There because, go. listen, <clears throat> I, I will speak very lightly on this. People took their lives because of their mental. People lost their lives because of their mouthpiece. I see a lot happen, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of stuff we can't talk about. For the ones that really did it, they can't really speak on it. See, a lot of, a lot of people that have sat on this amazing couch and, and everywhere else, other, any other platform, they won't tell you the true, the, the, the true feelings that they had. It was scary. Every day it was scary. Listen, you can have amazing hands. I had, I was... I was locked up with some great guys, you know what I'm saying, that, that I knew, you know what I'm saying? And, and before then, I, I used to box, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I knew Clifford Earl, uh, 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 Curtis Cokes, man. Uh, I, I was around his in his camp for three or four years. Uh, 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 Cedric Rose, a lot of people don't even know. I don't know how people don't know who Cedric Rose is, but he was amazing. I didn't know him as a as a world renowned boxer. I just knew he was in the same tank with me. That's real. And he was me and him the same size. And he used to say, "Come here, youngster. Let me show you something." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so it was just different. I was too busy trying to make him proud. You know what I'm uh, saying? Yeah. So I'm a youngster. I'm 17, and he's sitting here showing me the overs and unders and all this, and I'm I'm loving this shit. You know what I'm saying? But we didn't look at him like. Uh, like it was just like if Jordan was in here right now, if he was actually engaging and talking with you, and then y'all go out there and play ball, it's like, man, I'm shooting ball with Jordan. It ain't like, man, it's Jordan. Now yeah. you'd be like, man, I didn't shot ball with Jordan yeah, because now you got comfortable. So when I was with Cedric, it was a little different because I woke up with him every day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not knowing that, man, this man was a world renowned, worldwide, you know, boxer, bro. That was amazing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Curtis Cogles was a world-renowned boxer. You know what I'm saying? Uh, won uh, many world championship uh, 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 rings and whatnot, or belts. Yeah. I didn't know that. I just knew that. He, I would say, hey, you're doing that wrong, boy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Raise your feet up a little bit. Your heels are too low. Or this or that or that or this. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling you. You're not slipping out. And you, you, you know what I'm saying? And teach me about parrying and shit. Like, what? That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So my point is, is that I knew these, I knew these guys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If they were, oh, you know, uh, hope, you know, uh, rest in peace. You know what I'm saying to 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 uh, um, to Curtis Copes, but Cedric, he's still around. You know what I'm saying? And that and that's people like, yeah, I knew that youngster. You know Man, what I'm saying? Crazy. And 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 uh, I used to see him, and I'm gonna say mimic his style, but I, I thought he was nice. But I didn't think nobody was nicer than my daddy. <laughs> my daddy, who's taught me. And I thought my daddy was probably the had the best hands I've ever seen. You seen your daddy get out there? Oh man, come on, bro! I just saw my daddy mop. You know what I'm saying? And then play with you, and then laugh, damn, and then taunt you, and then tell you to get your ass up. You know what I'm talking about? Because see, that's when I had CB radios. You know what I'm saying? And see, my dad was in the military, bro. So like when we was in Fort Knox, Kentucky, Rad Radcliffe was right next door, right? I mean, right, just like Desoto, Cedar Hill, or Lancaster, whatever. 
And my dad would sit back and, and be talking shit with a motherfucker on a CB. <laughs> they say, bet I see you up there in a half a second type shit. And he'll get out in the 18 wheel and my daddy just mop him, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then, <laughs> then talk shit. And as he's doing it, he's talking to you. He's relaxed. And see, that's what made me good because I was always relaxed. I never did anything uh, that's out of the way yeah, and, and, and heightened and, yeah. and letting you gas me up. Nigga, we're going to get out there. Hey, we got out there, bro. And I'm going to be relaxed with it. You know what I'm saying? And it didn't matter. And the crazy part is I'm left-handed, right? Yeah. My daddy was right-handed. So for years, I don't know if he the nigga didn't know that I was left-handed or not, but he always taught me, you know what I'm saying, the way that he taught me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I would catch shit. And, and it made me, because he used to get upset at me, because I didn't get the method. Like, I didn't understand it. Like, it was uncomfortable. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Until I got, like, good in the shit. That's and then that's when, um, that's when uh, 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 Cox, I mean, not Cox, um, uh, Cedric Rose, because yeah. he was a Southpaw. He was like, uh, I was drawing one day, and uh, he was like, and I love to draw. He said, you left-handed? I said, yeah, man, I'm left-handed. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. And I'm still yes, sir, no, sir. He said, man, come here. So we get out there, and I change up, and I'm like, what? This yeah. is comfortable. Yeah. And then that's when I started realizing, and my daddy, he can go both ways, too, but you know what I'm saying? But he was a tough motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, my daddy is the it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. love that nigga. To, man, I love him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But he, uh, you learn from other people, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can sit here and say, hey, listen, this is how you make, make how you're supposed to make spaghetti, right? Yeah. And then someone else. And then someone else will say, well, you know what I'm saying? Man, you, that's really good, but man, you should turn the paddle this way. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And do this this way. You're like, you know what? I kind of like that too. You know what I'm saying? And then you find yourself gathering all of that and then you find your own way. And that's what happened. So when I went to where I went, when I first walked, when you first walk in, bro, you're getting looked at, my nigga. Period. You're getting looked at, bro. When you say looked at, like what you mean? Oh, don't get looked. You don't catch a fade. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And, 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 And the thing is, man, and then if you haven't, to Robertson, you know what I'm saying? I didn't understand Rocky and all that shit yet. You know what I'm saying? Cause they just, you know, so that's when you had to go get your ID and uh they tell you what your job is and all this old shit. And I'm a field nigga. Yeah. I stayed in the field the whole entire time for the except for the last two months. And I was in the kitchen. And really I should have been kicked out of the kitchen because I was, I was, I was you, we uh, was stupid. Them up. <laughs> yeah, no, it was just no, it wasn't even about that, bro. It was uh it was again, man, that's when respect started to roll in. When you when you've been there so long, again. From in that era, you know what I'm saying? You know, you had to earn respect. It wasn't given. You know what I'm saying? Like me, respecting you is different because I'm gonna give you the respect. Back then, you had to earn it. You had to show a motherfucker you had something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you earn that respect. And then you might not have to have another fight for shit, probably a couple of months. That's right. And then somebody new come in on the way. You know out. what I'm saying? Then you gotta get back out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Now you sure you want to LT dog? That nigga just look like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then you get out there and then it changes it. It yeah. changes the whole game. You know what I'm saying? Did you ever take any L's in there? None. Oh, man. Hey, I, I, I put that on my pancreas right now, bro. Oh. Listen, on my, I put that on my pancreas, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real, dude. I haven't. That don't mean that one ain't gonna ever come, but I still got all my teeth. Yeah. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing, ain't nothing, no, no, uh, now nah, listen. Yeah.